The cell cycle consists of two major parts, interphase and the mitotic phase. Interphase constitutes most of the time. There are three steps in interphase, G1S, which stands for DNA synthesis, and G2. In order for the cell to synthesize new molecules and organelles in S, the cell must first pass the G1 checkpoint, which happens after the cell control system approves everything so that cell duplication can commence. The cytoplasm gets bigger, and the centrosomes and the chromatin fibers double in quantity. In prophase, the chromatin fibers coil up and become chromosomes, which are made up of two sister chromatids, which have centromeres in the middle. The centrosomes start moving away from each other. During chromatophase, a nuclear envelope breaks and spindle microtubules released from the centrosomes attach the, the chromosomes to the centrosomes, which cause the chromosomes to start spinning in the cell. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up on the metaphase plate, with the centromeres being connected to both centrosomes via microtubules. The mitotic spindle is fully formed. Anaphase is when the two sister chromatids break up to become daughter chromosomes. They start moving toward the centrosomes until they are equidistant from each other. The cell is also getting bigger. The chromosomes unco uncoil during telophase as a nuclear envelope surrounds that surrounds these as a nuclear envelope surrounds these chromatin fibers. During cytokinesis. The cytoplasm divides to make two new daughter cells. The cells separate by either a cleavage furrow for animal cells or a cell plate for plant cells. Thanks for listening.